Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also make sure you turn off the water supply underneath the sink. In this video we're going to show you how to change out the KitchenAid refrigerator water tube. It's going to be a very easy repair and it should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the instructions and the new water tube. The water tube carries the water from the water inlet valve to the filter housing. The main reason you'll be changing it out is if it's damaged or it has a hole in it and you're getting water on the floor. In order to get to the part, we have to go to the back of the refrigerator. Now that we're at the back of the refrigerator, we're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to remove all the screws that hold the access cover on. Once you have all the screws out, you can pull the lower half of the cover away from the machine so the top half drops out of its little retaining slot and we can pull it off the machine. Now we can take the water valve out. We're going to use a quarter inch nut driver to remove the two screws that hold it to the cabinet. Once you have both screws out, you can carefully pull the water valve out and make sure it doesn't tangle with any of the wires. If you have to, you can pull the water line out of this clip to give you a little bit more slack. Then we have to disconnect the water tube from where it hooks up to the valve. So first thing we're going to do is throw a towel down to catch any water that may come out. If you have the older type water valve that has the compression fittings, you're going to have to use a half inch wrench to take off the nut to take the water tube off the valve. We have the newer type quick disconnect, so I'm just going to use a 3 inch wrench to push in on the locking collar and then we can pull the water tube out of the valve. Now that we have the water tube disconnected, we can pull the towel out and then we have to take this clamp off. This is your water supply line from the house. We're going to take this clamp off so we have a little bit of slack when we pull the water filter housing out. Once you have the screw out, you can just leave the clamp on the line and then we can go around to the front of the refrigerator. Now that we're at the front of the fridge, we have to open up both doors so we can remove the kick plate. To get the kick plate off, there's a locking tab on each end. We're just going to take a putty knife and carefully get in between the frame and the kick plate so we don't scratch anything. And then we can twist the putty knife to release the locking tab. Once you have this side done, we can do the one on the other. It comes off the same way. Once you have the kick plate off, we can pull it out and set it aside. Now that we have the kick plate off, we can remove the water filter housing. First thing we're going to do is unhook this little support bar. All you have to do is lift up on it and swing it out of the way. And then we can use our 5 16 nut driver to take out the two screws that hold the housing to the frame. Now that we have the screws out, we can carefully pull the water filter housing out. And you can put a towel down to catch any water that may come out as we disconnect the line. And we're going to disconnect the one in the rear that has the smaller locking collar. We have to use the 3 inch wrench to push in on the collar. Once you press it in on the collar, you can pull the water tube out. Once you have the water tube disconnected from the water filter housing, you can pull it out of the refrigerator. Here's the old water tube next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. They made the water tube to fit the old style compression fitting, so if you have that style, you can just install it. We have the newer style that has the quick release, so we're actually going to have to cut this off. In order to cut the compression fitting off, we're just going to use a really sharp razor. The instructions say to use a tubing cutter, but if you don't have one of those, you can do it with a really sharp razor. So we're just going to slide this nut back, and then you want to cut it back a little bit because there's some deformities from when they formed the compression fitting. So you want to go back a little bit 
so that when we push it into the quick disconnect, it seals onto the O-ring. So as you cut it, you just want to use a steady pressure. Don't press down really hard. You don't want to kink the tubing or disform it in any way. Once you cut it off, you want to make sure that you don't have any sharp edges. If everything looks okay, we can put it into the refrigerator. To put the water tube in, you just want to pick up the water filter housing and push it into its opening. You want to make sure you push it all the way down so it bottoms out and then pull on it to make sure it's locked in there so you get a good seal. We're going to lower the filter housing down so we can route the water tube towards the back of the refrigerator. And then we can line it up and slide it back into place. Once you have it in place, we can grab our 5 16 inch nut driver and put the screws back in. Once you have the screws in, you can put the support arm back in. All you have to do is hook it into the water filter housing. Once you have it in place, you can make sure that this water line is up and out of the way. Once you have the water line out of the way, we can put the kick plate back on. To put the kick plate on, all you have to do is line it up, and then you can rotate it up and lock it into place. Once you have it in place, we can close both the doors. Now we can go around to the back of the fridge and put everything together there. We're going to connect the water tube to the water inlet valve. All you have to do is reach in and grab it should be somewhere in here. You just have to reach in and find it and pull it out so we can reconnect it to the valve. If you have the compression style fitting, you'll have to use the half inch wrench to tighten up the nut. We have the quick disconnect type, so we're just going to push this all the way until it bottoms out and you get a good seal. Pull on it to make sure it's locked in there. Once you have it secure, we can remount the water in the valve to the cabinet. We're just going to carefully push it in and guide it past all the wires. Once you have it in place, we're going to use our quarter inch nut driver to put the screws in to hold it in place. Once you have the water valve mounted, we can follow the water line down and make sure we put it back in this clip if it came out. The second one too, if it happened to come out. Once you have that secure, we can reconnect the water fill line. We're just going to grab our quarter inch nut driver and put the screw through the clamp and then tighten it down so it's held to the back wall. Now that we have the screw tightened down, we can put the access cover back on the refrigerator. To put the access cover on, all you have to do is lift it up into the channel and then line up the screw holes. Once you have it in place, we're going to put this screw in first to hold it in place while we put the other screws in. Now that we have the access cover installed, we can plug the refrigerator back in, turn the water back on, and make sure it starts to cool. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.